another issue that's very specific is house training a puppy to toilet in. Now, we both know there's two major causes for that. The first is faulty learning at the litter stage. This is sometimes when a puppy's been removed from the litter mother in that early socialisation period, post the reflex period, where they will have not been taught to urinate and defecate outside the nest area. If that part of socialisation and learning is interrupted, it can become dysfunctional. So that's one area where the puppies never learned to urinate and defecate away from the nesting area, which then becomes the home territory. So that's one cause, major cause. The second major cause we know is separation-related disorder. And a good example of that would be when a dog, a puppy, has been run on beyond the eight week period and then has started to form an attachment. And sometimes the inappropriate urination and defecation is a direct result of that attachment being broken. The third aspect, which is quite significant in our cases, I think, is where the owner has not been able to retrain the dog or train it or deal with the issues that are linked to that inappropriate toileting. What's your experience with the third major factor? Yeah, David, I agree with all of that. Uh, the third issue with house toilet training that I see really very frequently is when people bring a new puppy into their home and they don't do the appropriate conditioning right from the outset so the dog learns to toilet in the house. And puppy pads um, are a relatively new um, invention which people purchase to get their dogs to be clean in the house. What they end up doing by using those is actually teaching the dog to go to the toilet in the house and certainly seeking out materials like that. So that could be doormats, could be nice rugs, mm. um, could be bathroom carpet, whatever. And by the time I get called in, the dog has been with the family for a few weeks at least and during that time has a great deal of repetition of urinating and defecating in the house and that really has become what the dog has learned. People unwittingly teach the dog to toilet in the house rather than in the outside world. And one of the most difficult factors that I have to work with in London, lots of people live in apartments and as a result of that don't have gardens and if you're dealing with a client in a six floor flat with no garden, toilet training an eight-week-old puppy pre-vaccinations can be very challenging indeed. That's interesting because the puppy pads really are the modern version of the newspapers. Have you got a particular case that you've got in mind where you can give an example of one, the issues that are caused by that inability to be able to teach the dog properly uh, to where you can get them into a position where they can change the behaviour? Yeah, I went to see a Shiba Inu puppy who had been bought from Wales and was living quite high up in an apartment building in a block. And the owners had started teaching the dog with puppy pads all over the lounge floor and had tried to reduce the puppy pads into one corner. And that hadn't worked at all. The dog just continued to defecate or urinate wherever it happened to be at that time. So I had to then start retraining the dog from the very beginning really. So my advice was the removal of the puppy pads so that we could actually start to teach the dog that in this environment, in this apartment, you do not go to the toilet, all of that happens outside. And because of, they were so high up, obviously the owners were quite reluctant to keep taking the puppy out every time that they thought it might need to go to the toilet. But really that wasn't a choice, it had to be done and they had to start taking the puppy out into the street. They live very close to a nice park, but they had to start taking the puppy out to go to the toilet several times a day after meal times, um, every couple of hours really, to start conditioning the dog to, to go to the toilet outside rather than in the apartment. So really it was the dog was, we used a cage, so the dog was either in the cage, in the owner's presence under supervision, or outside where it could go to the toilet. And by default of following that, the puppy very quickly became clean just because the opportunity to go to the toilet in the house wasn't there. And then once they start to go to the toilet outside, the new behaviour is formed 
and then life continues with a nice clean home. Yeah, that's interesting. I've found that I have to teach the owners that it's not always a need to go to the toilet. Sometimes the dogs learn, particularly young dogs, that they can manipulate the owner by suggesting to it that they may want to go to the toilet. The other aspect of this, I've found that once the puppy is rewarded for toileting in the appropriate area, so a reinforcement by reward, that that can help in the long term of teaching the puppy that that's the place where you want the dog to do it. Now, of course, we've also got this increased responsibility to pick up fe faecal matter from our dogs, and that's an important responsibility. I agree. The vast majority of responsible dog owners pick up after their dog wherever they happen to be, but in London parks, because of we all have to share that, it's used, they're used by lots of people, the onus on picking up after your dog is of course essential. Yeah, I, I understand that in, in an inner city, in an urban environment, there's perhaps not the wide open spaces that people have in rural areas, so it, it is vitally important that they pick up after the, after the dogs. Um, thank you, that's interesting. Mm -hmm.